All right, hello members. Uh, we've got two trades on the board. I haven't done an, a video update here for a day or so, so I want to, you know, revisit where we're at, what we're doing. One of them is a short on the S and P 500. It's using the SH, which is a one-to-one -one relationship. And essentially, we started the short at the top of this bar. We added to it on Friday, which is uh, this bar. We actually had a, two orders Friday. Uh, as we added to it. And both times we called it exactly right on the SH, except for it was the fraction, it traded at the fractions, and we actually missed both of those orders, you know, on a, in a fraction of a penny. Um, and sometimes that's the way it goes, but that's what happened. What's happening here, um, you know, we've talked about, we should probably just review it. You've got a swing point low, that swing point low is in this area. Typically, when you go more than six bars, right, the probabilities are very high that A, you're not going to get to the other side of this, and B, you're not going to break out and keep going. More than likely, you're going to try and regenerate lower. So then, if that's true, the question becomes, where can you regenerate lower to? Well, the obvious places on this chart is this big white price spread bar here, so the top of that bar to the bottom of that bar, and the prior swing point high. And so if we're looking, and that actually lines up with this bar as well, if we're looking at that area, this is the area that we should be watching on the way back. Now that's not much room, and we of course could trade a lot lower. I mean we could trade all the way back down here again if this truly is a bearish market, right? If this market um, is in a bearish uh, move, and if I bring over a weekly chart, expand this so you can see it, you know, if this market truly is in a bear market move, and so far, you know, all we have is we have spike down, spike up, spike down, now spike up. Is this going to end up being a lower high like we've seen here, right? Somewhere in this area and then we spike down again? We don't know that yet, but that's certainly a possibility. And so we have to recognize that we could have a situation here where, you know, this market's going to really roll back over hard over a period of time. But we don't try to manage the trade on the expectation of what it's going to do two, three, four weeks from now other than to know that what the possibilities are and to trade it day to day and decide what it tells us when it comes back into areas that we know are probably significant and once more to point them out this bar is probably the most significant bar on the way back and so we'll want to watch the top and the bottom of that bar to give us clues as to what we should do with this trade if we're wrong you know, the stop out is up here. It's on the top of this bar. If we get over this bar, then we're wrong. We have to close the trade. It's that simple. That's uh, the S&P 500. Now, the other trade that we're in is the XLU. And we've already added to this twice. And we were quite fortunate with both ads. Uh, got them both uh, almost exactly where we wanted. We bought at the bottom, right? So as this thing came down, and if we look at what was really happening there, as this came down, it was doing a retest regen. Let me pull over the weekly chart. It was doing a retest regen of a bullish setup, right, off this prior swing point high. So as it pulled back into it, and that pullback was this little price area right there, as it pulled back into it, that was when we bought it as a starter position using the knowledge that we had overlay swing point highs and a bullish market here. We had this top of this bar, if I pull it in just a, a little bit more cleaner, the top of that bar and the top of this bar, right, gave us, right there, gave us the area to buy and that's where we started the buy. We would have bought again a little bit lower had it gone lower. And we're shooting for these highs over in this area, right? This, this is the area that we're looking at as targets. Now to get to that target, we have to get over this high, but we're doing good volume so far, and it looks like we're gonna have a good chance of actually doing that. So coming back to the uh, daily chart, you know, this thing's doing everything we wanted. So we got that original entry, 
down here, right, at this level. And then we ended up buying again, and I can't remember, we'd have to look at the portfolio. I can't remember if it was the bottom of this bar or if it was the bottom of that bar, but one of those two bars, I forget which one, uh, we actually got the second buy on. And so now we've got the nice big push. We're going after the swing point high. That's going to be the test. We've already gotten over this big bar, right? And if we can hold that today, get over this, right? Then we're going to be shooting up to that 48, 49 area as that target. And so, so far, this one's working out perfectly. We got two good entries on it. Our stops now, because we have good profits, you know, we have to think about any kind of retrace. Where would it tell us we're wrong? Certainly, anything below that area right there, the bottom of this bar. And now that we have some volume on this one, the top of that one, right, is also. And so this little zone right in here, right, is a zone that would tell us we're probably wrong and we probably should take some of that exposure back off. And we'd have a nice profit in the purchase that we made here. We'd probably take that one off, keep half of it, and see what it's going to do. Because, you know, you could, you know, and this is where you get to the managing of the trade. You could have some sort of a range build out, right, taking place like that. And so if you if you bought it here, right, at kind of the middle, which is what we bought one of them, right in here, if we bought at the middle, you know, there's no reason not to think about buying it again at the bottom, but you want to take some of those profits off if it comes back and tells you that right now it's not ready to break out. If it just breaks out, great. If it doesn't, then you got to manage the trade, take some of your profits, and then look to do it again as long as it holds up. That's the two trades. That's where they're at. Uh, we'll keep watching them. And until uh, next time, that's it. Thanks.